Doctors say antiviral pills for COVID could be especially important against Omicron, and the first ones could start appearing in pharmacies this month. That's after Merck got a vote of support yesterday from FDA advisors. Tonight, we're going in depth to explain why the added protection also comes with a new risk of potentially mutating the virus even more. Merck's pill, Molnupiravir, reduces the risk of a COVID hospitalization by 30%, and the FDA could authorize it in days. Another pill from Pfizer is not far behind, and it looks even more effective at 89%. Doctors say these pills are arriving just in time with Omicron now in the U.S. I'd be surprised if, if these drugs don't uh, work against the strain as well. So it's good to have them coming along. At the moment, these infusions called monoclonal antibodies are the best treatments we have after an infection to keep someone out of the hospital. But these drugs work by surrounding the virus's spike protein. Omicron has more than 30 mutations there, and early tests show these antibodies do not work as well. On the other hand, the pills target different regions of the virus that are largely unchanged in Omicron. The drug should still work for this variant in exactly the same way as it did for Alpha or Delta or any of the, the Greek letters. That's encouraging, but doctors say the more we use these antivirals, the more pressure we'll put on the virus to evolve, weeding out weak variants that can't adapt. In the history of infectious diseases, pretty much every antibiotic, every antiviral that's ever been used will eventually result in some resistance. Dr. Christian Ramers of Family Health Centers of San Diego says the most famous example of this is with HIV, which can build some level of resistance in up to 10% of adults starting treatment. And it's already happened with a different COVID drug. In a case reported last month, doctors gave a woman in her 70s an IV of remdesivir to fight a persistent COVID infection. At first, it helped. Then the virus mutated and surged back. Luckily, doctors were able to overcome it by using another treatment, and the new variant didn't spread. But experts say it's a warning. We shouldn't oversell these things and think that it's a silver bullet. Yes, they're going to be useful, uh, but everything's going to have their flaws, and we may actually see resistance in the virus after we start using these. It's better to have the antiviral than not, but we just have to be aware that resistance is likely to happen. Doctors say keeping patients isolated while they're taking these antiviral pills will go a long way towards lowering the risk of a resistant variant. Now, patients will be taking these pills for five days, and experts say that will give the virus fewer chances to mutate compared to drugs that patients take for, say, months or years. But they say this is another reason why antivirals will not replace vaccines.